Welcome back, brothers and sisters, to our amazing, fascinating discussion, Dao Workshop. So how you sound is very important. What you say, right, is also important. But the tone of your voice, the confidence, if you speak with confidence, this is the thing that people are going to find most convincing. Okay, so be passionate, talk from your heart. We've mentioned these things already. Okay, we're just re-emphasizing them, okay? So simple questions anyway, right? What is your name? Where are you from? What do you do? You can just start things like, Hi, how are you doing? What's your name? All right, my name is this. What's your name? This is a classic one. Actually, they say, this is the best way to start a conversation. Hi, how are you doing? My name's this and that. What's your name? Tell people what your name is. All right? Again, one of the nice things to do is start with a question. Can I get your opinion on something I've been thinking about? The reason why that's effective is because you're giving the person themselves a chance to speak. And it shows that there's something about them that you value. And most people want to be valued, right? They're looking for significance. That's what a lot of people are looking for. To be taken seriously. I want some respect. So if someone is coming to you and saying, what you think is important to me, and I would like to know what you think about something. Straight away, most people are going to find that a very positive way to engage. Right? So you can start with, can I get your opinion on something I've been thinking about? And so it could be, how do we know there's a God? How can we know whether God exists or not? Is there any way to know that God exists? What is the purpose of life? Is life just a game? What are we here for? What's it all for? This is the classic one. Is life just a game? What are we here for? What's it all about? What do you think? Right? So then let the person say whatever they're going to say. We'll give you a lot of information about that person, about what they think. And then from that, we can begin to introduce to them and take them in the direction of go rap. You know, then you can start saying, well, you know what I think? In order to answer these type of questions, we need to use our reason and common sense. By the way, this is the next stage. I'm just pre-telling you. We're going to agree with them to use reason and common sense, but you don't need to say that. So I've given you a rough idea how to start a conversation. Okay? So again, we can just start out of practice. You know, hi there, what's your name? My name's this and that, this and that. You know, there's something I've been thinking about. I want your opinion on it. Okay, what's that? The other person says. Why are we here? What's the purpose of life? What's it all for? Right? What do you think? Sound like a good way to start a conversation? Yeah? Okay, don't look very enthusiastic. So maybe, inshallah, after you've practiced it, you'll get enthusiastic. So now, again, remember, we want to initiate the Dawah conversation. We want to start the conversation. So now you're going to practice. One of you is going to be the non-Muslim. And this time, the Muslim is going to start the conversation. Right? That's going to lead up to go rap. So can you start that then? Okay. Okay, I'm going to come down now and listen to you guys doing the conversation. Okay, start guys. Go on. Anything you say, whatever. That's good. So that's it. That's really good. Excellent. So sort round. opinion on something I've been thinking about.
good. That's fine. That's fine. You all practice now? Okay, who's going to come down? How about you two? Shafiq and Shujal. Yes, Shujal. Okay, come down. Inshallah, I want you to practice. Excellent. Okay, so what we're going to practice now is the Muslim, the Da'i, is going to initiate the conversation. Inshallah. Okay, so give me the microphone. Come a bit closer. Okay, who, which one of you is going to be the... You're going to be... You, so you're going to start the conversation. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. Hello, brother. How are you? Uh, I just want to know an opinion regarding, regarding one of the questions that I am thinking. So, yeah. what do you think about the purpose of your life? You have been... What's your age, brother? I'm 22 years old. Okay. So, you think you've been here for 22 years. So what do you think, according to you? What is your purpose of your life, brother? Uh, to do good deeds, help each other. Okay. That's good. Okay, brother. So... How do you get an idea about that? That's From good. Where did you get an idea? That's exactly what I was thinking. How do you know that? That's good. Our fathers and forefathers do good deeds. And uh, it is said, uh, good peoples do good deeds. Okay. Okay, okay that, that's fine. That's fine. But that's it. I mean, mashallah, he started the conversation. Very good initiation. Okay, guys, well done. Go and sit down. Anyone else want to try? Yeah, come on. You two come. Okay, so again, we're practicing as Da'is. We want to start the conversation. Let's see how we can start this conversation. So who's going to be the non-Muslim here? Practice to be the non-Muslim, pretending. Muslim. You're going to be the Muslim, so you're going to start then. Okay, good. Come here and slightly turn this way. Yeah, that's it. Not, not too much. Yeah, that's it. Hi, Raj. How are you? No, you don't know his name yet. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> okay. Hi, brother. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, what's your name? Raj. That's a beautiful name. Uh, I just need your opinion. I was just wondering, like, do you really think that God exists? Yes, I believe God exists because everything has a creator. So definitely uh, this creation came and directly doesn't came into existence on its own. So there is a creator. There is a God created everything. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Very simple, yeah? Not difficult. Okay, guys, sit down. That's enough. We don't need too many, inshallah. Oh, it's good. Alhamdulillah. Okay, next stage. So has everyone got the hang of initiation? Yeah? I told you we'll go through it step by step. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So I hope everybody at home is practicing that. So not just here in the thing. We can all practice that at home. You know, find someone to practice the initiation with, inshallah. Okay, so we started the conversation. Now, the next thing we want to do is get agreement on the use of common sense. This is quite important. And I tell you why we've put this in. Now, I want everyone to understand that this goal wrap is really the product of many, many, many years of experience, many conversations. And some of those conversations went on for a long time and then something happened in the conversation. So if one had only introduced this dimension at the beginning, when you get to that stage, that thing will not happen. I'll give you an example. I have a conversation with someone, a Hare Krishna. I mean, not Hare Krishna himself, but the guys who followed that group, they call it. I remember I had in a university in UK, and I went through Gorap, everything. I got to the point where he was agreeing, there's one God, God is different from the creation. And then he said, no, but Hare Krishna is the manifestation of God. I said, but we already agreed that God is one and God is unique and God is... Yes, he said, but you cannot understand these things through reason. So then, when I started to have my conversations, I said, okay, let's agree from the beginning, we're going to use reason. Because if later on a person says, no, 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 
this is a mystery. You can't understand through reason. You say, no, we agreed from the beginning that we were going to use reason. So this is why, after your initiation, what we want to introduce is the concept that in order to reach some understanding about life, the universe, whether there's a God, whether a religion is true or not, we should use our common sense and we should use our reason. So then we want to introduce some reason for using reason. Okay? We're going to take a short break, brothers and sisters. Don't go away. We'll be back soon, inshallah. Welcome back, brothers and sisters, to our Dawah workshop. When I started to have my conversations, I said, okay, let's agree from the beginning, we're going to use reason. Because if later on a person says, no, 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 this is a mystery, you can't understand through reason, you say, no, we agreed from the beginning that we were going to use reason. So this is why, after your initiation, what we want to introduce is the concept that in order to reach some understanding about life, the universe, whether there's a God, whether a religion is true or not, we should use our common sense and we should use our reason. So then we want to introduce some reason for using reason. Okay? So the argument goes a little bit like this. Do you agree that we should use common sense and reason and logic in order to form conclusions about life? Yeah? For example, when you cross the road, do you just cross the road without looking at what's around you? Or do you look at what is here and you look at what is there and you cross the road and you keep looking what is here and you keep looking what is there? Which one do you do? Do you just say, oh, I have faith, I'm just going to cross the road? Or do you look and you observe and you use your reason to see, am I going to be hit, am I not going to be hit? Which one? Which one do you use? You use the second one, right? You use your common sense and you, you use your reason. Or let's use the example of the man in the red underpants. Why the man in the red underpants? Because it's a sort of dramatic, you know, it's a dramatic image that the person has in their mind. And it's very useful. I found in my conversation, sometimes I go back to it. I don't even say reason. I say, remember the man in the red underpants? I don't say, do you remember we agreed to use reason? I say, do you remember the man in the red underpants? Okay, who's the man in the red underpants? The man in the red underpants is someone who comes knocking on your door. I don't know. Do you have water meters in your houses? Do you have electric? You have electric meters, right? So most people everywhere will have electric meters. Okay? So, or gas if you have gas for cooking. Yeah? So sometimes you have gas in the pipes. Let's say electric meter. So now, if someone comes to read the electric meter in your house, the person knocks on your door. And he is dressed wearing nothing but red underpants. Are you going to let him? He said, I've come to read the gas meter. Will you let him into your house? No? Why not? Huh? Because he doesn't fit what you imagine or what you understand or what reason tells you. Right? Reason tells you that the man who is reading the electric meter does not dress in red underpants. How is he going to look? He'll probably wear a uniform, the name of the electricity company. He may have a little machine in UK. They just have a machine. They go, doop, and it reads the meter, whatever, right? So there's some things you know from your reason. This is actually basic reasoning. You're comparing what you know, the information that you have with what is in front of you, and you are assessing. Is this like this? Do I compare this to this? What is the probability and the likelihood of this being correct? This is reasoning. So this is the process most of us use throughout most of our lives in order to make decisions, yes or no? So doesn't it make sense that when it comes to understanding the purpose of life, the reason for our existence, we should also use common sense and reason? Does that make sense? Do you agree with me so far? Yes. 
Do you understand that? Can you explain that in your own words with any example that you like? What you're now going to practice with your partner is using common sense and reason. So the basic theme of it is, brothers and everyone at home, is that you just want to get agreement now. This is so, now we've had initiation. So after initiation, and it's very interesting that I don't remember who it was, but was it someone said, oh, what's the purpose of life? So who was saying the purpose of life? Who was doing the purpose of life? Yeah, Shafiq and Shujad. Shujad. So he was saying, oh, it's to do good deeds. And Shafiq said, how do you know that? What makes you believe that thing? That's perfect. Because that's the time now you can introduce. I think we need to use common sense and reason. Why? Okay, this is the reason. What if the man in the red underpants, when you cross the road? Or you could think of a million examples. Now you bring your own personality. Whatever you like. I didn't think of the man in the red underpants. By the way, this is one of my students came up with this. Not me. One of my students came, I used another example, he came up with this example. And then I used it and I even called the book because I thought it was so brilliant. So you may have something else that is a great way to show how we need to use common sense and reason. So you use what you find yeah, most effective for you. If you like this, use that. If you find something else, use something else, right? Has everyone got the idea? Are you sure? Okay, so you practice, and then inshallah, we're going to see who can do it, inshallah, in front of everyone. So go ahead, go and practice. <laughs> give an example that whatever practice uh, such as in the common sense uh, like okay I'm gonna come down yeah <laughs> yes you had a question yeah actually I didn't got you you didn't understand yeah you do practice in the way of uh, something in common sense okay what you have to understand is we are breaking our dawah conversation into pieces, right? So we're just practicing each piece, and then at the end, inshallah, we can bring it all together. So first of all, we practiced initiation. How do you begin your conversation? So we had two types. One when you are being asked a question, the other when you want to start the conversation. So we've done that now. Now this is part two of your conversation. So we're moving from initiation to getting agreement to use common sense, right? So we are now going to discuss what is the purpose of life? Is there a God? Why are we here? In order to understand, in order to come to conclusions, we should use our common sense. So the person will say, why? Why should we use our common sense? Well, you don't have to wait for them to say why. Tell them why before. So you say, okay, because we use common sense for everything. When you cross the road, you use common sense. When you buy vegetables, you use common sense to see is the vegetable rotten or is it fresh, right? When the man comes to read your gas meter, you use your common sense to say, is this really the man to come to read the gas meter or is this man to come to rob my house? If you didn't use common sense, what will happen to you in your life? You will be dead, you will be robbed, you will be... So then how much more should we use common sense to understand what is the purpose of our life? Why are we here? Why when religion, we throw common sense away? Why? You understand? This is what we're trying to establish with the person. Yeah? You understand? You sure? Does everyone understand? Okay. So let's practice that, inshallah. Just persuading the person. So again, one of you is the non-Muslim. And you as the Muslim, the Da'i, you're trying to persuade him that, okay, let's use common sense. For the rest of our conversation, because you're thinking ahead now. I'm going to have a good long conversation, maybe 20 minutes with this guy. I don't want him at the end to say, why should we use reason in religion? 
It's all a mystery. We should just believe. Yeah? Why not establish from the very beginning that we're going to use common sense? Yeah? That's the idea behind this. You got it? I told you it gets a bit more difficult as you go along. <laughs> yeah? How's it going? Huh? You're going to practice? Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Now, you as a dai, having a conversation, you want to persuade the person you're having a conversation with that in order to understand life, religion, God, we should use our reason and common sense. Why? Because we use that all the time in our life. Why should it be different when it comes to these things? That's the basic concept. We're just trying to agree with the person. Do you agree with me? You see? And then they will say yes. And then we're going to, inshallah, talk to them about how do we know there is a God? Using common sense and reason. We'll talk to them, how do we know God is one? Using common sense and reason. How do we know the Quran is from God? Using com Do you understand? Yeah? Okay? So that's the idea. Yes. Huh? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Hi, What's your name, Raj? That's your mashallah, that's your very nice. Do you really think that God exists? What's your opinion? I, I, just, I was just wondering, I just need your opinion. What do you think? I don't think God exists. Uh, I believe in Big Bang Theory that there was a blast and the earth came into existence after billions of years and slowly, slowly life came into existence. I don't believe in God. Okay, I would just like to give you an example. Can you see the second? It is very beautiful. Okay, that's it for now, brothers and sisters. See you for the next exciting episode Dao workshop.